Remember Riverdale? It used to be on TV, like a hundred years ago. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but five months is a long time for a mid-season hiatus. Especially when they ended in the midst of so much action, including a prison break orchestrated by Hiram, Mark Consuelos, a high school battle involving Archie, KJ Appa, a bunch of escaped convicts and a machete, the Alice Cooper officiated marriage of terrible twosome Sheik and Charles, and the disappearance of a drugged out jughead, Cole Sprouse. It was, as the kids say, a whole vibe. And then nothing. We have been waiting for new episodes since the end of March. An entire Olympics have happened since then. New York changed governors. Rihanna became a billionaire, without even dropping a new album. But now, Riverdale is back with the second half of season 5. And we can confirm that Time Away has not tempered the show's insane ability to reside somewhere over the top while also completely sucking us in. The CW Tonight, Chapter 87, Strange Bedfellows, picks up the morning after the chaos and instantly gets after it. Mama Blossom has been granted parole and found God. A cash-strapped Ronnie falls prey to jewel thieves. Two unexpected allies find a trippy way of figuring out where Jug may have gone. Check out our exclusive video peek below. And Archie. Well, how about we just let showrunner Roberto Aguirre Sacasa spill the details on the gang? After all, he's had a lot of time to sit with this second half of the season and has some insight into what we can expect to see. Also, if you're the praying type, send up a few for the safe return of his father, okay? Riverdale has been gone for so long. Did you know that you were going to have such a long break? Roberto. No, we didn't. We got word about it and everyone acted as though that had always been the case. Maybe it had and I just didn't know, but we were all, I think, a little bit surprised. It was weird finishing the episodes and then having them sit on the shelf for so long and I do think that this batch of 9 episodes, they are some of the best we've done. So I'm really psyched about people getting to see them. Good. Okay, so it picks up literally very shortly after the prison break and everyone is still dealing with the wreckage of everything that happened in that last night. How does this reset the table for the second half? It's funny. When we wrote this episode, we weren't thinking, oh, there's going to be a six-month gap between episode 10 and 11. One thing we did for this episode that we had stopped doing for Riverdale as we included a previously on. Yeah, it's a little bit piecing through the wreckage of our mid-season finale, and then it's starting some new stories. For instance, one big story that starts quietly in this episode, is Betty's friendship with Tabitha, which is something that we follow through the second half of the season. It's almost the gift of this episode, 